Okay, hey everybody out there, whoever I'm speaking to. So back in 2012, something like that, maybe before coming out of 2007, 2008, 2009, but definitely moving into that time, I really started to become a minimalist. And if you haven't seen a great documentary on minimalism, then uh, take a look at that one. It's just called The Minimalists, I think, or Min Minimalism. You'll find it. And I've sort of prided myself on owning very little and traveling light because I travel around the world in different places and I've always just had this feeling of, uh, yeah, I'm quite like to be tidy, but also like, what do I really need? And one of the things that I was traveling with for some time was something that I speak to a lot of you about. And if you come on our events and workshops, I mention this all the time is morning pages. So morning pages is stream of consciousness, a writing, daily writing practice where you write three pages of A4 uh, in your journal every single day and just close the book at the end and so on. It's, it, it's called morning pages, but also morning with the O-U-R-N-I-G-N-G, as in you're dying on the page every day. And when was it? Two years ago, I'd been traveling around with pretty much a suitcase of journals that I'd been writing over the years. And there was, I can't remember how many, but there must have been about, I think about eight. And I just ripped them up, had this little cathartic moment where I just like, I can't carry these anymore. I don't need them. I'm never going to read them all. Sometimes I think I'm going to read them and I don't. So I just like threw them around the house and ripped them up and had this little frenzy of, of this like ceremonial letting them go. And because I've come back to my mum's place, I really wanted to clear out any last remnants of some things that I had there. Um, and there was a, just a couple of boxes in a bag. So basically there was a bag of bits here, some old uh, paperwork. This was full up. This bag was full up with stuff that I've put in this bag. And then um, I came across another bag of journals. And why I want to show you this is look at this 2005, journal 2005. Focus on acting in all respects because back then I was following this acting path. And then I, I just read a couple of pages and then it linked to all of the, these journals. I'll come back to the point I wanted to make there. So look, let's show you because sometimes when we say things on video and we share things on video, right, is that a lot of people share just concepts and practices that they think are great, but they don't actually live them and embody them. So I, I've been writing, writing morning pages for many, many years, um, way before 2005. I mean, journaling started for me as far back as the year 2000. So like, oh, in 19 years and uh, the morning pages was introduced to me by my friend Lucy Ann Holmes, who's a writer and has now written and published uh, several books. And she inspired me and got me into it. And then I remember, like I did, pretty much six years straight, like every day. I, I rarely missed a day. And even if I did, I'd sometimes do evening pages and just, just write. It became a real practice of mine. And, and it took me into being able to write the book that I'm now writing and, and also to release so much of my past. and and tap into my own wisdom and insights from my experience. It's such a phenomenal practice. I share it with everybody around the world and I still write morning pages. Not every single day because I do a number of different practices on breath work and movement and dance and orgasmic yoga and, and all this, many different practices. I do a meditation, of course, that's become more daily. And so I mix and match, but morning pages every time, like, each month when I write them, I get so much from them. And I also write morning pages on my phone. So if you don't have a journal, you can write them on your phone. It's just stream of consciousness. So it's uh, still alive in me, still a, a massive practice. And so I just want to show you. So look, here's one journal. And when did this start? December the 1st, 2010, this one started. And just to give you an example, 3rd of September, 2011, look. Uh, on a plane to LA, so I was on a plane then, 
writing, writing, writing. Look, four, five, six pages that time on a plane from LA. Look, another one, 5th of September. So you see how, like, that's one, that's one journal. So we've got here, and these are the ones I'm, I'm now cathartically letting go. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. It's a thin one. That was a notepad as well. Six, seven, eight, nine. I remember these. These are on my, look, on the front, morning pages. Yeah. Write it. I remember my mum brought me this one. It's a big, huge one. I got these small things. I even got this morning thoughts. I even put them on, on just paper sometimes and put them inside envelopes and save them. I think I've lost count. You can count back on the video. It's got another two here. Another two. Polar bears, look. Polar bears. And then another one of the big Roman ones. So they're all going. Check them out. There they are. And then, these are some of my smaller ones. Can you see them there? And then, these are some of my smaller ones, right? So these are the smaller mini ones. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight small ones. So why am I sharing this video? I just... Maybe my little ceremony to say goodbye to these. <clears throat> but also maybe it just inspires you to try out morning pages um, if you like writing even if you don't so many people that I share practices with and um, I share different practices with on the workshops and the events and you know is there such a small amount of people that really consistency con consistently implement some of the practices but every time somebody has for longer periods of time than just one month, we're talking years, you really get the benefit from these practices. These, the excellence comes from thousands of hours of doing something, not from just doing it once or twice. And so I share this today to share that I, de I do the practices that I share. Doing is not really the word, but I, I use them. They're tools. And every tool can become a crutch. And eventually that crutch has to go. That's why I don't religiously do every single day morning pages now because I found other different things that I use. But I still use morning pages as a great practice. And I love it. And whenever I'm working on a creative idea or just stuff's going on in me, if I'm stressed, and I'm feeling too much, I'm triggered and then I write and clarity comes every time. I still advocate that it's a daily practice. But from a place of wholeness, this is the little caveat. I spoke to my mum the other day. She's been doing these meditations that we've been sharing with her for three years. Joe Dispenza meditations, guided meditations. And a lot of the times in this sort of self-development world, spiritual world, whatever you want to call it, sort of pointing to that you need to fix yourself or you've got like massive problems and so on. And on some level, um, that's, there's, a, there's a truth in that, right? Because that's how we can monetize the situation as well. And that's what we play into, play into people's fears and so on. But the key that I want to share with you now is like, do these practices already from a state of wholeness. You're already complete. You're already magnificent. You're already unique. You're already whole. What has to die, if you want to say that, is the term I use sometimes, is the false beliefs the diminishing thoughts and feelings and all the other aspects of the conditioning and programming that we've picked up through society and religion and uh, our peers and, and growing up that have told us that we're not whole, that it's not already there. So once we have that understanding of that, we might, we might know it first, then it drops into awareness. And when it drops into awareness, then we can just show up and just participate in the divine ecstasy of creation. Meaning, you can do yoga, dancing, movement, orgasmic yoga, writing, any cathartic practices, take your ayahuasca, take your San Pedro, do whatever is calling you to explore, but from a place of wholeness and see how that changes your engagement and your interaction with the things that you're doing in life. How would that change the way that you show up? 
So that's what I wanted to share today. It was really that, that invitation to look at not these practices as you have a problem, but to see what richness, what treasures, what personal insights that you can draw from the experiences. And these were just my, my journals over the many years. And there's still, you know, it's funny when, I, when I'm about to like let them go, they're still interesting to notice, not so much now because I did it before, but still interesting to notice our little attachments to these things. Like, oh, what's in there? Oh, wait, one day I thought I might, you know, rewrite them all and turn them all into a book or whatever. And then all of that can just go as well. And then there's a, a sense of freedom that arises from that letting go. They serve the purpose. And as I often say to people about the uh, morning pages is you, you may never read them. You just write them and you may never read them. And that's perfect. So I hope this benefited. Let me know if it did. Um, I can put a link underneath this video to also Julia Cameron. She's the woman that initially created the uh, morning pages. And she was a, a writer and I think an actress as well. And there's a whole book by her called The Artist's Way. And Morning Pages uh, is in that as, as part of that 12 week program that you can go on yourself through the, uh, through the book, uh, which a friend of mine just did as well, which is she's having such a phenomenal time with that. So, yeah, enjoy looking within. The wisdom is within. Let the pen lead you. And uh, there's a great audio actually by Mark Matusak called Writing as a Spiritual Practice. See if you can find that one. If not, let me know and I'll send you my copy. Uh, but Mark Matusak, you can look him up as well, he talks a lot about writing and uh, writing as a, you know, as a cathartic practice, as, as freeing ourselves and releasing ourselves and then accessing our wounds as also a deeper expression of our gifts to give to the world. Enjoy, wherever you are in the world, you're whole, you're it, you're already enough. The story of imperfection and unworthiness is not true. <laughs> Shine on, crazy diamonds.